This is the administration area of your system where you can start to build your pages. Now, the first thing you want to do is select which page you want to be your landing page. So you've got the option for lead capture page, sales page, info page, or your webinar page. Now, all of these pages, you can do exactly the same thing on each of them. You just want to you know, know which they are so that you know which one you set for the landing page. And the landing page is going to be uh, your domain forward slash the username of the funnel. So that's going to be the first page that people will land on when they go to your funnel. Now we've got here for options to be able to build your pages. So you've got the option for a drag and drop editor. You've got the option for a basic editor, and I'll show you the difference of these in a minute. Or you've got the option to only copy and paste source code. So if you use this option to only copy and paste source code, that would be if you're using a different editor that you want to build your pages with and then just copy and paste the source code into the system so you can put a capture form on it and things like that and capture leads into the system. So first thing I'll do is show you the drag and drop editor. So if I go here to capture page builder, this is where your four different page builders are. You can click here to open the drag and drop editor and you can build your pages here from scratch or you could import a template and start working on those with the template. I'll show you how to do that in a minute too. Go back here to the layout settings. The other option is the basic editor. So I'll set that to the basic editor and now I'll go back to my capture page builder. And you'll see here, we've just got these basic editors that you can use to build your pages with. So you've got just the basic editor. This is if you want to just build like a basic page with maybe just some text on it and don't want to really make it look nice. Don't want to take some time. So that's an option for you. And I'll show you the third option. We'll go back here to layout settings. Third option is just to copy and paste the source code only. So if you set that to yes, now we'll go back here to the capture page builder again. Now you see you've got the option to insert content between the head tags of your source code, and you've got the option to set content between the body tags. So this just allows you to create your code somewhere else and then copy and paste the code into the system. So now we'll go back to layout settings again. Set that as the drag and drop editor. Now the next thing we've got is the option here to download templates. If you click on this link, you can go to a page where there's about 750 free templates that you can download and then install in the software. And if you click on this video icon here, that will give you a video that shows you how to do that. Now do pay attention to these video icons all throughout the system because they're going to show you how to do everything. Next thing we've got here is a Google font preloader. So if you want to use Google fonts on your pages, I use Google fonts on my pages because they just look a lot better than default fonts. So you just enter the name here of whatever Google font you want to use. Make sure you watch this video for more information on how to do that. Now the next thing we've got here is the ability to set the color scheme for your uh, backgrounds on your, all your different pages. Now if you're using the source code only, then it's not going to give you as many options. So let me turn that back to where we have more options here. So if you're using either the drag and drop editor or the basic editor and not uh, source code only, then you'll see you've got the option to set an overlay color instead of just either white or black background. So if you want to set an overlay color, I'll show you how this works. So we'll set this to, for now, to full screen overlay. And I'll show you why I set that to full screen overlay here in a minute. Uh, by default, you see I've got this set to white. Now I can use this color selector to select any background color I want. Or if I already know the color, I can just take that color and paste that into this box. Now, if I want to make this fully solid to make the background color actually that color, I'm going to set this to 99%. Now I'll go down and update the layout settings. And now if I view my landing page, you'll see I've got that background color. Now if I don't want to have the full screen, let me show you the difference. So if I turn this to no for the full screen, 
and then I refresh this, right now you're not going to see anything. So what I have to do is go to my capture page builder. Uh, I can either turn on the color overlay canvas or a white canvas. So if I want to have that color overlay, I can set that to yes. And what that's going to do is put that color overlay in the middle of the page so I can start putting my content there. That way I could go to my background settings. Let's go here to backgrounds and I could set a background image or video. And then with that background image or video set, then you would have this color overlay over the background uh, image or video. So then you'd be able to see any text you put in here and things like that. Now, if you want to adjust that to make that so it's more transparent, so you can see the background through it, then you would go ahead and set this to a lower percentage. So I could set this maybe to 50%. And you'll see when I do that, it's going to make that background screen lighter. So you'd be able to see my background through that. Now on the background settings page, if you go here to backgrounds, you'll also see that there's a video that shows you how to do your backgrounds. So watch that video. I'll go back to layout settings again. Now you've got the same thing for all of your pages. You have the ability to set the background the same way for your sales page, for your info page, for your webinar page, registration and login pages, and also for your members area. Now, for the members area, if you notice, if you go here to the members area, you've got your different pages listed here. So you got your landing page, sales page, info page, webinar page. Now, whichever page you're using for your landing page, it's not going to be shown under the other pages because you don't want it here twice. So if you were using your sales page instead of your capture page like I'm uh, using here, then your sales page would not be shown and your capture page would be shown because your sales page would be set as the landing page. Again, the first page people go to when they go to your funnel. Now the main URL of your main funnel is just going to be your domain. So if we go back here to uh, administration, if you go down here to these options, to where it says custom heading above landing page URL, I could write something like promote this link if I want to change that. Now again, if we go back here to members area, you'll see now it says promote this link. So you can change the headings that are above each of these pages as well. Now, if you want to turn any of these off so they're not even displayed here, say if I just wanted to have my sales page not shown, what I would do is go to administration and then I would go to my sales page builder and I would just set that to no. So that's not used for this funnel. And then if I go to my members area here again, you'll see that the sales page is no longer there. Now, if you want to hide your business redirect URL, this is just a link that people can share on Facebook and things like that. So you're not sharing your business URL and this will then redirect them to where they can go and sign up for their business or whatever product you're selling. So if you go to here to administration, if you wanna hide those and then scroll all the way to the bottom of that and you'll see you've got the option to display your redirect URL. So you can set that to no to hide that you have the option to display your referral URL. This is where members can refer people to the system. So if you don't want them to have that ability, if you want to be the only one that refers them to the system, you set that to no. And if you don't want to have them, give them the login URL, if you want to give that to them through email or something only instead, just set that to no. We'll update those layout settings. And now if we go to the members area, you'll see that we only have the pages listed and we don't have the referral or the redirect or the login page listed there. Now the final option on the layout settings is just the option to enable social sharing icons on the
pages. So if you have that set to yes, it's going to put like uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, things like that on there. So people can just click on them to quickly share on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. Uh, if you have that set to no, it just won't show those on the pages. So that's the first step of getting your funnel built. Now, make sure on the other pages, if you go here on the menu, this is where all of your other pages are. Just go through each of these different pages and uh, this is where you would build your members area for your members. This is where you would build your menu that they see. This is where you would set the uh, title, description, and an image that gets generated automatically on Facebook when people post their URL. This is the page we're currently on. This is where you set your backgrounds. This is where you would set capture settings if you don't want to use the default system, uh, default lead generation system that comes with your system. You can also set this up with Aweber or GetResponse or anything else you want. You can also change what your capture forms say in your capture settings. So like if you wanted to say name instead of first name, things like that, you can change that there. This is your video settings. So you have up to four different videos that you can set. And the advantage of using the videos instead of just in you know, the video settings, instead of just in embedding your own videos, is that you can do things like prevent people from leaving your videos and going to YouTube. This is your capture form builder. So you'd want to build a capture form to then put it on your page builders here. Uh, this is your popover builder, same thing. You'd want to build your popovers. Uh, you have up to three different uh, popovers for each different funnel. So you've got a, a button generated popover, an exit popover, and a time popover that you can put on any of your pages. Now, these are all your page builders. You got your capture page builder, sales page builder, info page builder, and webinar page builder. And then this is your autoresponders. And this is where you can set banners that your members can then set their own links for and they'll replicate down to their referrals and they'll be able to set their own links. And then this is where you'll view all the funnels that you've built. This is where you can share funnels with your members. We can decide which ones you want to be shared and which ones you don't want to be shared and just want to have for yourself there. And then this is where you can click to import a template. And this is the templates that you've installed yourself. So again, there's videos on almost all of the pages in the system. Just make sure you click on these big red video icons to watch the videos.